And to also look at our bulletin, we have our shed-ins and our sick that are uh, to be lifted up in prayer. If you do not see a name or if you want a name added, please see Dorothy Miller. And I believe that's it for today's announcements. Everyone have a blessed day. Hi, for those that don't know me, I don't have an identity complex. I am Tim Dalton. <laughs> I was, yesterday was such a great day out in the community. Um, when you get the shirts for Thanksgiving and that, they come in at 2X, and I'm sort of a 3X because I like them roomy, so I, I asked Bob Lucy for one shirt. So he made them up, and I went over yesterday morning to get them, and he comes out at the funeral home, and he's wearing it. I'm wondering, how am I going to wear that shirt if he's wearing it? <laughs> come here, Tim. He goes, we go around back, and he had a case full of them. I want to thank Bob Lucy for everything. He's the shirt guy, the banner guy, the great friend to the church. And uh, there was a case of them, and there was enough to pass out yesterday. Even Mom got them, and I'm delivering the last one down to my son this afternoon. Thank you so much. For those I volunteered out in the community yesterday, if you can meet me back by that stained glass window, and we'll get another group picture after service. Charles, you look good on the news last night, riding in the front of that emergency vehicle. <laughs> Woo! I just want to say we had a goal of 100. Oh, by the way, happy Father's Day, and thank you so much from the American Red Cross and the Pittston Fire. They had a goal yesterday of 150 alarms. I got the report last night from Bill Goldsworthy. There was 175 installed. That's not, that's not counting the hang tags where they'll call back to the Red Cross and more will be put in so they're projecting over 200 because of yesterday's effort. Amen. Amen. So I did some statistics and the people that had, uh, the teams that had somebody from First Baptist on it, uh, responsible for over half, 88 because of First Baptist. So that's the report from yesterday. And by the way, I love my church, but not only the church, but the people in it. Thank you so much. Amen. Let church say amen. We ought to clap more than that. My goodness. Man. You know, it's strange. We want to do for the community more and more, yet they're out there and we can't get but one clap. You got to realize that there were, I looked at the picture yesterday, Tim sent me, I think I saw like five to seven people total, seven total, um, and there were two females that were there, and uh, I saw Maurice in the back of the emergency vehicle, Charles in the front. <laughs> Trust me now, we have the picture, it will be printed, and you will see it. I, yeah, you, you can guarantee that. And they were helping to put the fire alarms in along with all the others that were here. And it was, I'm sure, a wonderful day. And I want to thank all of the men and women that, uh, that helped out and that were there and that were a part of it. I really do. Oh, if you're here with us today, all of you that helped out, would you stand, please? Everybody that helped, if you would stand, install them. You look around, you'll see it. Amen. Thank you, Tim. Amen. Come on, everybody. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can't, I can't, uh, I can't thank God enough. It, you made your pastor proud, so I really appreciate that. Um, I'm also going to ask if uh, all the men in this church, if you would stand, wherever you are, all the men, if you'll stand. Ladies, you know how we do it. It's Father's Day. Come on now, I need you all to clap. It's Father's Day. These are all our men. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Happy Father's Day to every father in this place. We are certainly grateful to have you even on this morning. Amen. You could have chosen to be anywhere else you wanted to, but you're here with us, and we want to thank you. We're grateful. We're grateful. To Reverend Brittingham, thank you so much. I heard nothing but good things.